So with equations, you can literally do anything you want to both sides, add or subtract anything you want. As long as you do it to both sides, it will stay equal. Kind of think of it like uh, a teeter-totter, and um, you know it's balanced, it's equal. <laughs> Sorry, my teeter-totter drawing is pretty bad. And as long as you add or subtract the same amount of weight from both sides, that teeter-totter is going to stay balanced. So like I could add the number 5 to both sides if I wanted. I could add 5 over here. Think about adding five pounds of weight to both sides, it stays balanced. If I do that, my equation now would just have a plus five over here, and three plus five, it would be eight over there. So this is still an equal equation. Everything is still good. I haven't changed anything in my equation uh, as far as the quality goes. I've just added a new amount. So adding plus five didn't help me in this situation because um, my goal is to get the y by itself, all alone on one side. So I'm going to choose what to add or subtract based on uh, that end goal. And so I have this balanced teeter-totter. I want to get this y by itself. That means I want to get rid of this and get rid of that negative 3. That's being, the negative 3 is being multiplied by the y, and this over here is a subtraction, a negative 12x. So to get rid of minus 12x, I would need to add 12x. I do that to both sides, this equals 0 now. Minus 12 plus 12 is 0, and so I just have a negative 3y, and I've added 12x over there. So I still got a balanced teeter-totter here. Um, and the last step, the only thing I need to get rid of is this negative 3 being multiplied by y. And so if I want to get rid of that, the opposite of multiplication is division, so now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. Let me write the division sign here, divide both sides by negative 3. If I do that to both sides completely, if you multiply something by a negative 3 and then divide by a negative 3, those, those cancel out to just equal number 1, so you just have 1y over here now. That was my goal. That's what I have. So division kind of cancels out, undoes that multiplication over there, I reach my goal, and on this other side I'm going to have, sorry, it's a, it's a negative 3, divided by negative 3. So on this other side I'm going to have negative 4x and minus 1, when I divide everything, both numbers, by the negative 3. Um, and so in this case, dividing by a negative is when the sign of a number would change. So 12 divided by negative 3 is negative 4, positive 3 divided by negative 3 is negative 1. And this is my equation of a line. It's in slope-intercept form. This number right here, this is the slope, negative 4. This is the y-intercept, negative 1, or the point 0, negative 